The shrink wrap modifier is one of the most powerful tools in subdivision surface modeling, and here's why. Let's say we're modeling this chest plate, and we model it with clean topology, careful pole placement, and proper support loops. And the model looks great, right up until we switch to a harsher mat cap and see a bunch of lumps and bumps on the surface normals. So instead of modeling in all the detail right away, we can instead start with a model of the object's basic shape and use that as our guide mesh. From there, we can add a 4 times subdivision surface modifier, duplicate the guide mesh, shrink wrap the duplicate back to the guide, and then start modelling in all the details on the duplicate mesh. This way, as we model in detail, we won't distort the surface normals since our verts are confined to a guide mesh, which means we can focus purely on topology instead of meticulously correcting the curvature of the mesh. Personally, my favourite application of modelling with the shrink wrap modifier is for the Master Chief's visor, as it enables us to cut into visor lines onto a highly reflective curved surface while retaining perfectly clean and crisp reflections. And if you're interested, you can find both my introduction to shrink wrap modelling and my Master Chief helmet modelling tutorials for free over on YouTube.